just going to call this part of the episode the Battle of the Bulge, okay? I'm going to share with you the Battle of the Bulge. All began on Tuesday. I was sitting in clinic, seeing patients, usual day. And my office staff says, you have Jim Acosta from CNN, and he wants you to make a comment as former White House doctor for nine years uh, about Governor Christie and the issue of his weight slash obesity and running for office. And I said, well, okay, let me see what Jim wants to do. So they had me watch uh, Governor Christie's uh, performance on David Letterman uh, the night before where he bit into a donut. And uh, CNN says, well, what do you think? What's your response? And I said, honestly, I don't think it's funny. I think it's very sad. And they said, when you see somebody like this, what, what do you think? And I said, well, as a physician of 32 years, board certified internal medicine, White House doctor for nine years, director of the White House Medical Unit, I look at somebody like that, and I think of my patients, uh, very similar in that condition, and I say, my goodness, that person definitely looks like he has a medical issue, perhaps. I'm trying not to diagnose him from afar because I haven't read his records, I haven't examined him, but all I can think of is, oh my goodness, there are some health issues I'm worried about. And those issue, health issues are hypertension, diabetes, heart attack, stroke, sleep apnea. So it doesn't look healthy to me. So they did the interview, and then next thing I went to lunch, came back, and then it blew up. It blew up where uh, headlines came out, former White House doctor says Governor Christie is a time bomb. Well, I was like, wow, I guess got his attention. So more calls came in. The next morning, Wednesday, I'm in clinic seeing patients, and I get a call from the governor from New Jersey. And, uh, and with respect to what he asked that I not divulge the details of that conversation, all I can say, uh, he wasn't very happy. Okay, So uh, that started the firestorm back and forth, back and forth. Um, I spoke with Wolf Blitzer this afternoon, Back again, just clarify the message, make it clear, I thought I'm, thought I'm consistent. It is not a character issue, it's a health issue. And the bottom line was I wanted him to get some help, and I care about that because I wanted somebody uh, who had uh, qualities uh, as a leader uh, to step forth and be a viable candidate in our next election. So that was a firestorm. That was the uh, battle of the bulge. But let me talk about a little bit of obesity. It's the whole topic. It's a medical condition in which excess body fat has accumulated to the extent that it may have an adverse effect on your health, and it does lead to reduced life expectancy and increased health problems. U.S. Health Task Force, you can go online to look at your body mass index. If you're over 30 percent, you're considered obese. It increases the likelihood, again, as I mentioned, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, obstructive sleep apnea, certain types of cancer, osteoarthritis. Uh, 365,000 deaths in the U.S. are attributed to obesity. When somebody is over 40% body mass index, their life expectancy drops 10 years. The costs are numerous in billions uh, in obesity. It is a killer of so many Americans. It is the leading preventable cause of death worldwide increasing the number of deaths in adults and children uh, in our century. And, you know, God bless Michelle Obama for her efforts with childhood obesity, but the costs for human suffering are amazing because many people suffer from this. People who are obese suffer from people bullying them and hassling them all their lives. Uh, it becomes a disorder not only of excess intake, less output in terms of working out, uh, but uh, insufficient sleep, we're finding out, uh, health eating habits where people eat late at night. Uh, a lot of people have used the old adage uh, to patients. Uh, old doctors used to say this. Uh, you know, when do you eat? You eat breakfast like a king. You eat lunch like a prince. And you have dinner like a pauper. But I also look at the psychological issues of obesity and our relationship with food. Food can be a drug. It comforts, it, it comforts us as well as nourishes us. And we had uh, speaker Dr. Julia Ney on our show uh, early on in this season. And listen to that interview about eating disorders. Uh, again, it says nothing about you as a person. You're a good person. It has nothing to do with whether you're good or bad. Uh, it's a killer of people, and I want people to take it seriously. If we can reach one person out there who would look at Governor Christie and say, you know what? I, I feel his pain, man. I feel his pain. I'm going to do something so that they don't die of heart disease. Um, people ask me about my work in the presidency, and I've, I've been blessed to be a survivor of three presidential campaigns. And one of the things that comes up, uh, any candidate, they're always going to look at, they have a weight issue, 
I will predict that each the candidates in 2016 who are running for office will be asked for their medical records, stand by. But the other last note I want to mention as a retired military officer, the commander in chief, I really believe, and this is my personal opinion as an American and as a retired military officer, Naval Admiral, uh, active duty for 24 years, I really believe that if you want to run for commander in chief, I believe that you should fulfill the weight requirements that are given to the armed forces, okay? That whatever we set the standards for our generals and our admirals, that you should fulfill that. So with that, that's food for thought. And I'm going to have you come back after this break. We're going to talk about uh, people who killed the president with author Brad Meltzer calling in from Florida. Uh, he's going to talk about his new book, The Fifth Assassin. And then after that, we're going to talk about saving the president with Mr. Bob to Prospero, who is retired Secret Service agent and who is with President Reagan at the time of his assassination attempt, last time we had that happen. So stay tuned for the Dr. Connie House Calls. The White House doctor makes house calls. Listen every week for House Calls with Dr. Connie Mariano. Dr. Connie has served as the White House physician under three U.S. presidents. Now she joins the Voice America Empowerment Channel to help you enrich yourself physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Our guests will include professionals from a variety of fields who will bring you tips that you can apply to your own life. Listen for House Calls with Dr. Connie every Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. 